Is anyone going to take accountability for the thousands that are dying? In Delhi, almost everyone has been visited by grief. Here, people die at the doorsteps of overcrowded hospitals. Their bodies taken to parking lots to be cremated in mass ceremonies without a send-off from their families. These are the victims of the world's worst coronavirus surge, which appears driven by a new variant, vaccine shortages and what critics call a botched response. We've been failed by the government that did not think to put in place a contingency plan for the second wave. Just months ago, India's leadership declared victory over COVID. Now the country is averaging over 300,000 new cases and around 3,000 lives lost each day. Concerns about underreporting mean the toll may be many times higher. You know, we were hit by tsunami. This government spokesman says the scale of India's new wave has taken many by surprise. Yes, we are in power. We are responsible. This happened. We are now, our focus is how can we save lives and how can we make sure our people are protected. But Reuters reports Indian authorities were warned of the highly infectious virus strain in early March. A forum of scientific advisors claimed their warnings were ignored, with one scientist telling Reuters, I am worried that science was not taken into account to drive policy. Planes filled with oxygen and other critical supplies are landing in India as countries try to help. The United States has promised to share 60 million AstraZeneca doses with the world, but it's unclear when those shipments will begin. There isn't some huge warehouse filled with AstraZeneca vaccines that we can just release at a moment's notice. Despite being the largest vaccine producing nation, India is struggling to vaccinate itself out of the crisis in part because it exported millions of shots. We have been failed by policymakers that allowed vaccines to go out of India before our own could be vaccinated. My father had had one jab. I keep thinking, you know, if the vaccines had started earlier and he'd got his second injection, maybe he'd still be alive. This weekend, everyone in India 18 and older became eligible for vaccination, but several states have said they might not be able to meet that kind of demand and have asked people not to form lines outside clinics because of the shortage of doses. Karen Seolin, City News.